Hi folks, Paul Boland here and welcome to another issue of the Night Track vlog. So today we're going to look at one application program, uh, two games and we're going to look at another movie but this time it'll be one of mine instead of one of my sisters. <laughs> so let's jump straight in the application program. So today I'm going to talk about Fun Mail Mania. What exactly is Fun Mail Mania? Back in the days of the Commodore 64, 1980s, late 1980s, early 1990s, I actually got a piece of software off a magazine cover tape. Yes, cover tape, not cover disc. <laughs> and um, what this piece of software did was it actually recorded all your keyboard inputs. You type the word hello, it would record hello. If you then move the cursor around the screen, it would move the cursor around the screen. It would record the movement of the cursor around the screen. And then when you were finished typing up a message, you could save that message to a blank cassette and you could send it to a friend and they could load it up and they could see the message being created on screen in the way you typed it. I created this software a good few years ago. I wanted to recapture that program and you know what, Fun Mail Mania actually had users who liked it. I actually remember one guy who wrote to me saying that him and his girlfriend used it and they loved it. They asked for some extra features and stuff, which I implemented. But it's a novelty way to write a message. <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, you can put pictures and stuff like this. You can animate the way the the text is, comes up on screen. It basically records all your input the way you do your inputs. Does it have a use today? Well, yeah, I guess if you want to have a little bit of fun sending animated messages to people with brand, they will need Fun Mail Mania, and it is free. Nitrack Productions freeware page, just go download it, and you can create animated messages with pictures and music and animated cursor, and you can have a bit of fun with it. But does it have a use as in a means to replace your email program? No, no, it's not designed for that. It's just designed as a fun way to create messages and that's it. So there you go. Nitrack Productions freeware page from Mail Mania. Enjoy. Now the two games I want to talk about are Blocks and Bricks Mania. They are basically bat and ball games. I'm sure everybody knows what a bat and ball game is. You've got this little bat at the bottom of the screen and it, you move it with your mouse or your keyboard and you've got a ball bouncing around the screen and you've got bricks up the top of the screen and you're basically bouncing the ball up to knock out the bricks. That's what these are. Bricks Mania is the older of the two. It has an animated scoreboard type effect on the right hand side of the screen. It's, it's it's fun to play. I mean, all these bat and ball games are fun to play. They're quick, easy, sit down, just grab the mouse and off you go. I, I do like the animated sc little scoreboard effect in Bricks Mania, but if you want something a bit more challenging and fun, I would definitely recommend Blocks. Blocks is made later. It's the younger of the software. It's the more up-to-date bat and ball game. And, um, well, it's... It's got some interesting elements to it and all I'll say to you is don't wake up the maestro that's all I'm going to say <laughs> who doesn't like bat and ball games well okay they're dated I mean, they're, I'm not saying they're totally gone but you don't see them as mainstream today as they were 10 15 years ago thereabouts but hey if you're looking for a quick bat and ball game again Nitrack Productions freeware page just go and download Blocks and uh, Bricks Mania. I would definitely recommend Blocks out of the two of them, but it's, it's up to you, whichever one takes your fancy. So then that takes us on to another movie. So last week I covered A Burst for Freedom, the first and only CGI movie my sister ever made. So today I'm gonna to cover my first ever CGI movie. Now, if you look at the Night Track Productions website, like you see a lot of CGI from animations to still images. I like 3D CGI art and animation. It's a great way to get your creativity from up here to there on the screen. And when you get an idea in your head for a movie, a story, or even just a piece of art, and you put the time in, you make it, and you see the finished product on screen. It's, 
It's one of the most rewarding experiences ever. It really truly is. The very first full proper CGI movie I ever made was Dragon Quest. Now I already have this on my YouTube channel, it's possible you've already seen it, but what's the story behind it? I mean if you haven't been to Night Trap Productions website you obviously then haven't read the story about it because all the artwork on the Night Trap Productions website has the story behind the artwork there. Um, we will be covering that in these videos as time goes on, I will get to the videos in question and we'll address them. But anyway, you're watching this, Dragon Quest, what's the story? Well simply, back in the early 1990s I bought a magazine, don't ask me which one it was, but it came with a cover disc and there was some music files on the cover disc and I listened to them and one stood out. The very second I played this music file it just grabbed me it was like wow this is a great piece of music and it tells a story. The very first time I listened to it in my head I saw a knight battling a dragon. That's what I saw. A dragon quest was born. But at that time I didn't have very good CGI skills. There wasn't a hope in hell that I was going to be able to make it. So I saved that music file and um, the years went by and as the years rolled on my CGI skills improved and then eventually the time came when I felt you know what I can do this now. So I did. At the time I was using Caligari True Space and I had a plugin for it called Puppeteer which you can see here. It basically allowed me to rig any object, in this case you can see the knight character, with joints and then control all, the, all those joints using a slider interface which is extremely powerful, quick, simple, very user friendly, it's a great way to animate. I, I'm a huge fan of sliders. I will be talking about my love of sliders and my hate of how my current CGI software implements them in a future video. But for now, just take my word for sliders are a great way to animate. So I created all the pieces. I created a knight, I created a dragon, I created a cave, an exterior environment. I created a damsel in distress, a princess. And the story is the knight is going to save the princess from the dragon. Looking at it today, it's... Well, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you folks. It's great. <laughs> okay, the models are a bit rough around the edges and stuff like that, but you know what? Looking at it today, I am still very proud of Dragon Quest. I think I did a great job on it. And for my first CGI movie, it really did turn out very well. So, <sighs> what more can I say? Not much. So I'm just going to play it here. As I said, you've probably already seen it. If you've looked at other videos on my YouTube channel, you've probably already seen it. But if you haven't, well then sit back and get ready for a nice little adventure as the knight goes to save the princess from the big dragon. Until next week, folks. Bye.